Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video, video number two of AZ203 developing for Microsoft Azure services, we're going to do create the Fox function in the Azure portal. Azure functions lets us execute the code in a serverless environment without having to first create a VM or publish a web application. So let me just log on to the portal and take it from there. I am inside my portal and I'm going to click on create a resource. And after that, when it comes up in the compute section, I'm going to click on function app. Click on it. Type in test assert function app. Subscription is I only have one. Test assert function app RG. If you have an existing resource group, go with that. Windows hosting plan is computing plan or app service plan. So when you talk about uh, the selection of the wind OS for your function app, the language option depends upon the OS of the function app. For example, Python array would require Linux. So if in the function app you are creating a Windows function, it would not support some of the applications which would not be run on that specific OS. So if you go for Linux, it'll go you Python node.js.net core. If you go for Windows, it would give it would not give you Java. So consumption plan or app service plan. So it says the consumption plan lets you lets you pay per execution and dynamically allocates resources based on your app's load. App service plan lets you use a predefined capacity allocation. So, so consumption would be charged up on the basis of the consumption. Let's say location would be Central India. Storage, create new, test other fun. Storage. Application insights, you can enable application insights or you can disable it. Click application one, click on disable, click on apply. For the time being, I'm disabling it. Click on create. It'll take its time and would be done. On the top right notification screen, it says deployment in progress. I'll pause the video and come back when it is done. It says deployment is succeeded. I'm going to go to resource. So it says application in site is not configured. Configure application in site. You can click on here. It will take you to that settings. I don't want that as of now. Search it. This is my function app. This is my functions. I have do not have any functions here. I do not have any proxies. So if you click on here, it is my test as a function app. The status is running. You have you have created a function app. Now it's time to add your code. You can add your code from here. It is the resource group. You can restart it from here. You can download the app content and you can delete it from here. So this was the short and small with short and sweet video regarding creation of function app we will see in the next video how we can create a trigger please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you